Politics can be a cruel business. Ask Joe Swinson. A poll this week showed her recognition rating has risen since she became leader of the Liberal Democrats in the summer. That was the good news. The bad? The more voters saw her, the more she gave them the pip. And that was before she agreed in a nanosecond to wipe out millions in a nuclear war if necessary, and prior to the Great Squirrel Scandal. You haven't heard of the Great Squirrel Scandal? Why, you must not read the Mulgai Times. Understandable, since it does not exist. But that was where a story about Miss Swinson allegedly pelting tufties with stones was said to have originated. The spoof story went viral, various bods joined in condemnation of her, and before you could say, how could anyone be daft enough to believe this? She was being asked about it on a radio show. All very silly, but not that amazing, alas, in these fake news times. We sniggered at America for the amount of false information and general jiggery pokery that featured in the US presidential election of 2016, but if we are not careful the UK general election of 2019 could be heading the same way. The Conservatives have already been caught doctoring video to make it look as if Shadow Brexit Secretary Keir Starmer was rendered speechless when asked to outline his party's policy on Europe. During the ITV leaders' debate on Tuesday the Tory party press office launched a false flag operation posing on Twitter as a fact-checking organisation by the name of Fact Check UK, all to brief against Jeremy Corbyn. Dominic Raab, the Brexit secretary, tried to brush off the row by saying people did not give a toss about Twitter spats. But the social media firm itself told off the Tories, as did the Electoral Commission, which said voters were entitled to transparency and integrity from campaigners in the lead-up to an election, so they have the information they need to decide for themselves how to vote. The same could be said of the media, that it too has a duty to be transparent as well as honest, fair, trustworthy, and effective in informing the public in the run-up to polling day. But how well is it performing in this election? Is it clinging on to tired old ways of reporting politics when new and better methods are required? The ITV debate was a case in point. The format was first tried in the UK nine years ago. Back then it was three white blokes standing behind podiums. On Tuesday it was two white blokes. That's austerity for you. It was also a clear case of failing to reflect political reality in having the third largest party at Westminster, the SNP, represented, as well as the Lib Dems. The latter, in common with the SNP, could potentially hold the balance of power after the election. Both parties, moreover, are in the Remain camp, backed by 16.1 million voters in the referendum. Yet the broer for more on this story. Visit the news article link.